Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the excitable world of home automation. Excitable because I have in my possession a Mego pad. Uh, what is a Mego pad? I hear you cry. It is a Windows based stick. Uh, a lot of you are going, ah, Windows, Paul! Um, well, the fact of the matter is, um, I need Windows in my life for what I am doing. Um, I do a lot of speech recognition home automation, uh, and Vox Commando is the best software for doing that. Trust me, I know my stuff. Um, I could install uh, Linux and do something with Android and use my mobile phone as a microphone, but I'm not going to get into that. That's not what this video is about. This video is about a Mego pad. Uh, a Mego pad um, basically connects to your TV or projector via HDMI um, plug on the end of it, basically, and it's about this big. I shall show it you in a moment. Uh, it's very small indeed. Um, it comes pre-installed with Windows 8.1. Uh, it has 32 um, gig of internal storage, it has 2 gig of RAM, and it has a quad-core processor in it. It has built-in Bluetooth and built-in Wi-Fi, um, and it costs £80. It's only £80, and that is why I had to get one. There was just no doubt in my mind. Aside from that, I've always wanted a Windows-based stick for doing home automation, uh, for doing some surveillance-type stuff. Uh, for my home security um, and for acting as a media center. Um, so here comes the unboxing part. I already unboxed it. I got too excited. Uh, I do apologize. Um, if you want to see what the box looks like, it looks like this. It is quite boring indeed. That's the side of the box. That's the other side of the box. I know some people like this stuff. I'm really not interested in unboxing it for you. Um, but there. There we go. Unboxed. <laughs> Done. Um, so, shut the fuck up, you're all saying. Show us the hardware. Here it is. This is a Mego pad. You'll note it has an Intel badge on it, which I am reliably informed is uh, a good sign. It suggests it's not going to die. It's from a little Chinese company. You can imagine I'm a little bit nervous about it dying. I've connected it to a USB hub, it only has one USB port on it. The reason I have connected it to a USB hub is to connect a microphone and to connect this tiny little um, surround sound box, external USB surround sound box by a company called Sewell. Um, so at the back of that is an optical cable plugged into my Logitech surround sound system. Um, so there you have it, quad core processor, 32 gig internal storage, 2 gig of RAM, has a micro SD card slot reader on it, uh, so you could expand the internal storage if you wanted to. I personally am going to just use it for streaming over its built-in Wi-Fi from a uh, a storage server downstairs, which is also very low powered. So the huge advantage of this is it's it's going to cost you very little electricity. Um, it is um, it's going to be the, pretty much the same as charging your mobile phone. Uh, but you can do all sorts of awesome things with it because it's a Windows based device and you can do lots of things with Windows if you're reasonably clever. Um, so no longer are you stuck with just doing Android stuff, no longer are you stuck with the Chromecast just for um, comparison's sake, that's my subwoofer that it's sat on and you can barely even see it in the background there. Um, so this is my room in case you've not seen it, this is my bedroom with some sexy lights behind the headboard you can't see very well in this light, there you go. Uh, that's my projector screen, which looks very dull at the moment in this light. Uh, and my projector. So, only just moved in. Um, having some fun putting this room together, and having a lot of fun with this Mego pad. Um, so, I'm going to give you an idea as to how fast it is now. Um, before I do, I just want to... I just want to give you a couple of caveats before you all race out and buy one. Um, it is only £80, but my friend has had one for three weeks and it's already died. Uh, the guys in China have been really awesome about just sending him a new one, no questions asked. Um, so I'm not too worried. They're more panicky about their business going bust because of bad reviews in eBay. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, my, my installation went very badly to begin with as well, I have to say. Um, I had to reboot it over and over and over and over and eventually Windows told me it needed to be repaired. Uh, I couldn't put a CD into it, obviously, and I couldn't plug in a flash drive with Windows on it because the only USB port it has on it was um, connected to my mouse and keyboard. 
Um, the yeah, so it, it was starting to look like it was never going to work, and then all of a sudden it booted up just fine, and it's booted every time ever since without a problem. Uh, that's why I didn't dare move it, and that's why I didn't pretend to unbox it for you. Um, so that's just some caveats to consider. Anyway, uh, here is some footage of me using it, so you can sort of get an idea as to how quick it is. Cheers. So you'll notice immediately that my voice has become deeper and more sultry and sexy, and that's because I'm using my Samsung C03U microphone now and not my poxy Panasonic Lumix camera. <laughs> my production values will increase, I promise. Uh, in the meantime, you're stuck with me using poxy equipment, uh, followed by good equipment uh, and trying to merge the two seamlessly together. Um, I will improve. I have bought a house, forgive me, I have no money. Um, so this is me browsing around my computer. Uh, it runs extremely quickly. Um, so yeah, can't complain at the speed of that really. I'll just load up TeamViewer as an application so you can see how quick that loads. Uh, now of course you must bear in mind that everything I load is marginally hampered by the fact that I'm using Camtasia in the background to record the screen. Um, so already the processor is multitasking uh, and I'm just going to exit out of TeamViewer for that exact reason before I do anything else to make it a bit more of a fair demonstration. This is me loading Internet Explorer. Um, I would use Chrome, but it's been failing me miserably, sadly, recently. Uh, I don't know why. I don't think that's a Mego issue, because uh, the processor hasn't been maxed out during its failings. And, um, well, let's face it, Internet Explorer just loaded like, like, like lightning. Uh, so that's MSN, which is a very heavy website, and it loaded very quickly. Uh, let's try going to Google. Instantaneous. Let's try searching for the word test, immediate, and let's try loading speedtest.net, which is a nightmare of a site. Um, so speedtest.net, uh, full of adverts, full of animations, uh, full of flash, uh, all sorts of stuff going on. Not the best coded website in the universe for um, a little PC with very little power. Uh, I say very little power, as I've said, it's a quad-core processor with two gig of RAM, um, that's still pretty reasonable. Um, so you can see it, it takes a little while to load this page, but I think every computer I've ever owned has taken a while to load this page. That was reasonable. Try it on your own PC, see if it takes a similar length of time. Um, that would probably be a reasonable comparison. Use Internet Explorer, that's the only way to be 100% fair. Uh, so I'll close that off, take probably just as long to close. Uh, it's going to load, it's going to complain, there we go, that's it, closing speedtest.net, and it's done. Uh, so that was pretty boring, now for something more exciting. This is Vox Commando, this is home automation software uh, using your voice to control various aspects of your PC. In my case I control lighting with it, and a media centre, uh, and even a home automation alarm system, uh, which has caught a genuine genuine burglar. So go check that out. There's a video of it. It is awesome. It is funny. Um, so this is it. Let's try something. Um, focus Cody. Focusing. Focusing. Maximize Cody. Show recently added TV. Show recently added movies. Uh... Play movie Jurassic Park. Playing Play Jurassic, Jurassic Park. And I'm going to stop it there because I don't want to get in trouble for copyright. Uh, that is actually the slowest I've seen it move. And I think that's because uh, Camtasia is running in the background. Um, when you buy one of these, which you ought to, um, you won't have Camtasia running in the background all the time. And you'll find all of that stuff happens instantaneously. Uh, this is actually about the hundredth time I've tried to record this demonstration, and every single time so far it's run absolutely flawlessly, so that's a bit of a shame. Um, but I can't, I can't recommend it enough for the streaming. I haven't had a single stutter or buffering whilst I've been um, trying to watch TV on it, and I've watched TV for the last week uh, using this pad. Um, so that's that. Let's close XBMC uh, and try one more thing. Uh, Alexander, what's going on in the kitchen? Okay, so you can see it's loaded, I spy. It's taken uh, a little while to do so, as you can imagine. It's got 
quite a lot going on uh, and that's a fairly intense program that it's just loaded. It's also had to load a camera up across the network from downstairs in my kitchen. Um, but you can now see what's going on in the background. Um, so, fairly instantaneous on most counts and even more so when Camtasia isn't recording my screen. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. The only concern, of course, would be that it may fail after a few weeks, as my friends has, um, and I, I don't want that to happen to you. Um, have a look back in the comments, maybe in a couple of weeks, to see if I'm if I'm cursing it. Uh, would probably be a good idea. Um, but eighty pounds and the guys being really reasonable at replacing my friends, I would probably take that punt. This is a fantastic bit of kit for 80 quid and I have already done quite a bit with it and I am going to do a lot more. Um, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video uh, and I shall see you next time.